everyone, it's Rebecca from No Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with another one of my Friday not fiber related videos. Um, so one thing you might have noticed from seeing my Friday videos is that I love trying different mediums and hobbies and just experimenting with different things. So recently I was at Target and I noticed that they actually have really increased their kits and craft supply section like a lot. I thought it'd be fun to go in there occasionally and just pick up a pile of kits and then try them on the channel. We're going to be seeing what comes in the kit, whether or not it's easy to follow, and uh, then I'll just be, you know, doing whatever it is the kit is for. So I have five kits here, but that's only going to be four videos because two of them are going to go together. So let me just show you what I picked up this time around and tell you which one we're going to be working on today. So this one is the Paint Your Own Wood Ocean Scene Kit. This one was clearance out at $3. Um, if you look at the back, it is multiple layers of wooden frame, so it makes like a 3D ocean scene. So this is not the one we're doing today, but it is interesting. Obviously a lot of this stuff is aimed at children, but I am still curious and I like doing this sort of stuff. All right, so this is the Create Your Own Superhero Comic Books Kit, again by Mondo Lama, which seems to be a Target brand. Um, so this one has markers, stamps, sticker sheets, stamp pads, stencils, comic books, a hardcover comic book, and an instruction booklet. This one's surprisingly heavy. And then these two are going to be done together. So we have the Art 101 Crafts Embroidery Kit, which seems to be on black fabric. And then we have the Mandalama Create Your Own Embroidery Kit, which is on white fabric. So for the Art 101, it is one embroidery hoop, two pre-printed fabrics, ten color-coded embroidery thread skeins, two sewing needles, one threader, and an instruction sheet. I'll find the Mandalama one. It is eight colors of embroidery floss, ten strands of each color. 30 inches each. Three cotton sheets, metal needle, metal needle, needle threader, embroidery hoop, and instruction sheet. So these will be worked together. And then we have the Mondo Llama paper marbling kit. This one, I love the colors on the box. <laughs> so this one is 20 sheets of watercolor paper, five inks, two combs, two droppers, a plastic tray, bottle, powder, needle, and spoon. I'm not sure what the powder is. I can see it there, but I don't know what it's for. I have never done this particular task before, but it looks fun. So the one I wanted to start with is we're going to take a look at the Create Your Own Superhero Comic Book Kit. So let me just put these other ones away and we'll get this one opened up. A look. So there's already panels and speech bubbles randomly on these pages. So you are at least partially hemmed in. You don't have complete creative control. So this is the hardcover book. And then these are the two soft cover ones back here. Same thing, kind of hemmed in. Now, my first thought is that I really wish they did not have pictures of characters on the front um, because I feel like that takes away a lot of your creative control. If you're drawing a comic about some character that you made up in this kit, then you would want them on the front cover. You wouldn't want these random generic heroes. So there is that. Let's see, there's three sheets of stickers here for it's interesting the variety of ways they gave you to make the speech bubbles because these have a lot of different speech bubbles with onomatopoeia and background silhouettes for a city. Here's another one. But then if you don't want to use that method for making speech bubbles, they have these two really hard to see on camera stencils that are also speech bubble. Let's see if I can find a piece of paper. Here we go, this will work. Can you see them now? The different speech bubbles. So, you can use stickers or you can use stencils. 
or you can use stamps. Um, let's see. The one thing that I feel like this kit is missing is a pencil. Because <laughs> you're definitely supposed to draw stuff in these comic books, and they gave you markers. There is no pencil in this, which is very odd to me. When I used to buy kits like this all the time. Usually they were like how to draw your own manga kits, and they always had pencils and erasers. So the fact that there's no pencil in this is very bizarre to me, especially since that's like a 10 cent item. And they're shown right here. Oh, that's annoying. All right, let's see. This is a very generic how to draw book, I can tell you that much. Very short, who wrote this? You might not tell me. It reminds me of an artist that used to do a lot of how to draw books. I'm just wondering if it's the same guy. These are really lame. The aliens are more interesting. Why does the alien have to be the super one? They're way more interesting. And then another page to practice your skills. All right. Well, my thoughts so far is that it is desperately in need of a pencil. So let me add one to that. All they would have to do is add a normal pencil and maybe a small eraser and a pencil sharpener. And that would already do quite a bit to make this more helpful. Ah, but here's a pencil. I will test out these markers and stamps, make sure everything works. In terms of what I'm going to do with these, I'm not really sure. I knew that they would probably already have panels drawn in, but I didn't expect for there to be word bubbles. So. Um, I'm going to test out all of these materials and then we are going to just talk at the end about my personal thoughts on this particular kit. First, let me say that the colors of the markers are very bright, so it's no issue there. But how do I say this? All right, so when my parents used to go on road trips, and there were, at the time, five of us kids, it was not unusual for them to buy us each a craft kit for us to do when we got to our location. Just something to keep us occupied. And if this had been the craft kit they bought me as a child, I would have been very disappointed. Um, so here, okay, so let me start with, I can't even start with the good because there isn't really any good. Um, let's see. All right, well, first of all, if I had been given this and we were on a road trip or away from home or anything, I wouldn't have had a pencil, which means I would have been stuck with just the markers to do everything, which is, very frustrating because if the kid makes any sort of mistakes, they're not gonna be able to get rid of them. They're just stuck with marker mistakes and then it's ruined. It's not like there's an eraser for these. Second, the markers are pretty poor quality. The colors don't blend at all. Um, they just kind of destroy the paper. I kept having to pick little bits off the marker tips and this is all fuzzy. The stamps are not amazing <laughs> and they aren't on the box either if you look on the box art they're just as sketchy looking there too like this is not great um i don't necessarily like that the boxes and such are already drawn on the page i feel like a stencil for the boxes would have been nicer instead however i also understand that this is meant for children and they might have been frustrated by not being able to draw straight lines. That said, especially with the word bubbles, it'd be really hard to work perfectly inside these boxes all the time. So some sort of whiteout might have been nice just so I could white out inside the word bubbles. That is more of a picky thing. That's not really an issue with the kit because this was a $15 kit for kids. Um, it says ages six and up on the box. So that part's not necessarily 
an issue. The lack of a pencil is an issue. The fact that there's no brown or any sort of skin tone at all is a little bit of an issue. Some sort of pencil, pen, anything other than a marker to do some of the art would have been nice. The stamps are okay. I'm gonna try them in my journal with a different stamp pad because I don't mind the design of them. I kind of like them. So. Uh, the stickers are probably the best bet for most kids. They are almost certainly what they're going to end up using just because they're going to get frustrated trying to fit these word bubbles that are giant into these tiny pre-drawn rectangles. Because that takes up most, this is a fairly large panel in these, and that takes up most of the panel. So then there's not much room for the actual comic that the kids are drawing. Uh... I mean, all things considered, if you are trying to buy a gift for your kid to keep them occupied and they're really interested in comics, this is not what I would pick. I would say you'd probably be better off with either a plain sketchbook and then some sort of art set, or um, I think Target sells like a larger sketchbook that's for making comics, and it does already have the panels, but it's larger, so if they made a mistake, then they could just turn the page and it wouldn't be as big a deal. These are not very large and these are definitely meant to be a fully finished comic when you're done even though the placement makes zero sense. So by that logic if they make a mistake in these and all it came with is markers so they're gonna make a mistake they'll be very upset. So I, I would not personally buy this for a child. wouldn't really buy it for an adult either. Um, I will probably find some use for these or give them to my brother who draws comics all the time and really enjoys it. Maybe he'll have, get a kick out of turning them into something interesting. All right, so that is it for my first of these craft kit opening and reviews. I hope it was a little bit helpful. And if you have any kits you've seen in Target or Michaels or maybe Walmart that you think I should review, leave a comment below and I will at least check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.